So in the previous video, we showed you how to start a custom project in Final Cut Pro for the iPad. In this video, we're gonna show you how to import your footage the best way. Now, a lot of people don't realize that you can actually import footage from an external SSD or from an SD card using the Editor's Keys external USB-C dongle. So that means you can plug in an SD, micro SD, or a USB hard drive using that. I'm gonna plug in my external SSD, and you'll greet it here when you create a new project to import from photos, from files, from camera, there'll be a video on that, and from blank. I'm gonna to go to files and then tap SSD. Now, you can preview a clip here by tapping it and then pressing the space button. That way you can preview one clip at a time. Unfortunately, you can't bring entire folders. Now, I'm gonna show you how to organize Final Cut Pro for iPad so you can find your footage a little bit easier. But I'm gonna go down here to Final Cut Pro from iPad. I'm gonna select these clips here. Unfortunately, you do have to do this kind of one by one. Tick, tick, tick. These clips, unfortunately, if I press the space bar, won't preview because these are 10-bit 422. And it seems like Final Cut Pro doesn't support 422 previews just yet. So I'm gonna click open. It's gonna quickly import them into Final Cut. Now, unfortunately, it's gonna make a duplicate of these files. So if you have the 128 gig iPad like I do, your iPad is gonna get full pretty quickly. But you can see here, we've got the projects into Final Cut Pro. And in the next video, I'm gonna show you how to organize these clips because it can get a little bit messy.